you're listening to idolradioshow.com. With your amazing host, Daryl. Daryl, 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 Daryl. I don't know how I feel about that. I want to bring in a, a trans fat expert with us to talk about it, since you happen to say that, and we have one on the line with us. Tony Stark, welcome to the Idol Radio Show. You haven't been with us in a minute. Yeah, this is true. I haven't been. How are you guys doing tonight? We are well. How are you? I'm okay. I just want to say, 50, we all know you just forgot the lyrics to your own song last night. <laughs> hey, man, I you like this guy already, you man. Know, you know that's really what happened. You forgot the lyrics to your own song. Oh, oh of course, Tommy. I forgot. I forgot. I think and still the rest of the memory. In your memory. I think the steroids are in your memory, and I think you should just go, like, on a natural diet or something and, you know, <laughs> and let that go. Anyway. It's uh, good, what man. What you me about, Dale? I'm trans fat. Uh, you came on and attacked one of my guests, but the guest that you attacked has been linked to murder. I don't I've, know I've been, that's I've, been to, I've been linked to homicide two times, actually, twice. How many of them did you actually do? Um, I, I did nothing. I actually, um, hey, I spent hey, a few... Hey, you know, I, 50, 50 real thugs shoot back. They don't get shot at. Anyway. Oh, yo. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you something, man, because this thing, like, you got jokes, Mr. Stark. You, you got some jokes for Fifty tonight. Have you oh, ever been shot? These aren't, these aren't jokes. These aren't jokes. These are just facts. Have you, have you ever been shot one time? No, but so I never we, said I was a thug. Well, 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 I never said I was a thug. I said I'm a gangster, gangbanging. If you watch my movie, I actually said I'm a gangster, Grandpa, and I'm proud of it. So wait, first but off, are, but wait, but your eyebrows are plugged. That ain't gangster. Let me, let me tell you something, Mr. Stark. I walk around. I walk around like I got ass on my chest. Now that's a semi auto or a vest on my chest. Now if you listen to the album, you would know this. It's just it's just natural facts. I'm fifty, I'm me, and I'm a gangbang. And I I can I can prove it to you over the American Idol show. On this radio show, fifty is show you who the real gangster is. Right now. Oh, all right, all right, right. I, I don't want any oh, violence man. happening Thank as a result. About, when that's, Dude, that's sorry, quote. about the trans fat, about the trans fat, Dale. Yeah. Uh, all I was saying was that, you know, KFC has always been kind of nasty to me. I think it tastes better without the trans fat. So it's, uh, wow. I, and you, you've tasted this? Yes, they changed it a while ago. I didn't eat it a while because there was a story in USA Today, no, in Time Magazine, about the fact that of all of the fast food places, KFC had the worst amount of trans fat in its food. And since that article printed, they've changed it. If you notice the commercials say the bucket is back, because now they don't have trans fat. Um, I don't. I don't think it hurt their taste at all. And like Omar said, McDonald's changed theirs a while ago. And it right, right. So, is that you know acceptable to you, Fifty? What's funny? I was actually listening to um, Mr. Farrakhan last night, and he actually mentioned all of this years before it even happened. And um, I'm, it's he nothing. Mr. Farrakhan nothing talked about trans fat. Yes, he mentioned trans fats, and um, it's actually an attack on the black nation. Every uh-huh. black man, every black baby, that, that's what it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm a gangbanger, I'm a gangster and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, I know what's real, what's fake, what's really happening. And it, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not hot on no level. Oh, how do you think, okay, I, I want to say this as delicately as I can. You, okay. Tony Stark came on and it, it almost seemed like gave you a, a, a scathing attack. Do you feel that it was <laughs> wor- <laughs> like you were worthy of this or... or or do you maybe maybe you didn't take it the way I, I, I took it because it just I, I don't want any negativity going on between the two of you. I don't think fifty. I don't think Tony needs to have fifty upset with him. Well, Dale, let, let me tell you something, bro. I'm gonna tell you something, Jamoki Tony. I'm gonna tell everybody something that's on the radio right now. Everybody wants that claim to fame, and if attacking fifty is the way to get it, go ahead. Attack me every single episode. Do what you got to do. I mean, do it. I mean, if it's gonna make you a rich man like me, do it. I mean, I'm proud of him. That's what you call an entrepreneur. That's marketing right there. Mm, okay. He's doing right. his thing. I, I say, I... 50, love, 50 loves you. Mwah. 50 loves you. Mwah. Kiss you on the radio. And as much as I want to market myself, I promise I will not be marketing myself by starting a war with 50 Cent. It's just not going to happen. I appreciate happen. your opening that door, but uh, I, I, I do have a bit of common sense. Okay. Tony Stark, Sorry. thank you uh, for joining us. I think we're going to have an idol track tomorrow, right? Yes, you will. Top right. five. All right, that is Tony well, but Stark. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, 50, you're not in my top five. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, can you say that again? I said, I'm sorry, 50, is not in our top five. Oh, you said, I'm not in top five. Your, your, your top five, that's what you just said. Yeah, you're talking to be honest. Said. Tony Stark let me, let me, top five. Let me, well, let me tell you something. You, one, I want to tell you two things. One, you're on my fit list. You're on my fit list because, you know, I want to be on Fitness Club. And um, I think I can sound, I can hear the sound of your voice, and it sounds like you need a little bit of exercise. I'm 50 cents. Did you see these pecs? Okay, I can lift 
grandmothers on my pecs, okay? Yeah, but, some- their, but steroid use is, is, is a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> hey, you know what? I like and, you, man. I like and it's, you. And it's shrinking your privates. It's shrinking your privates real bad. Just stop doing it. Okay, I need to maintain some control over this show. Hey, the show has gotten completely out of control. Get, get your friend, dog. Get your get friend. Your I tried show. to make, I, I tried. I didn't want to go to war with him, but he gonna make me do it in a second, though, dog. Get your friend. I'm telling you nicely. Or else it won't be no more Fifty Cent on that radio show. Okay, okay, okay. And, and, and that, and that, that we don't want. You can, you can feel free to feel free to hang up on me, Daryl. I'm free. not hanging up on anybody. <laughs> I'm saying that Omar. Hey, I like this ghetto. Like I'm this saying ghetto. that I'm saying that my my the head of my news team, Omar. Uh, this is his segment, and I am going right back to him now. Uh, Omar, and, and, and saying Omar. Um, what do you think about this trans fat issue? Uh, I think you guys have said it all already so far for me. <laughs> so we, we, we think we've addressed every point of You've view. You've addressed all the issues I wanted to cover. Wow, wow. Well, Omar, you. as usual, it has been a blast. I'm supposed to have a psychic on our show on Monday. Um, I might have to have her give you a reading. Maybe she could just listen to your voice and tell me something about you. I know. Hopefully. I'm, I will definitely be calling to hear that conversation. Yeah, that that is that is going to be a great one. We've we've had so many uh, snafus tonight on our show. I wonder whether or not I'll actually be able to get your theme going again as you leave out. What do you think? I'm gonna try. Give it a try. Give it a try. Imagine that. Yeah, there we go. Omar <laughs> on IdolRadioShow.com. <laughs> That is Omar. We look forward to talking to you again Monday. Please try not to be traveling on Monday evening, and if you are, we're going to need to get that call from the air. Hey, okay, Daryl? I, I promise, I promise. Yes, uh, 50. I like him, the Chihuahua. I'm, I'm not sure what his name is, um, Tony Starks, but he has a nice little bite. Oh, you, no, no. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Omar. Um, 50, no. See, Tony Stark <laughs> is my segment producer. Okay. <clears throat> Tony Stark comes on and he does his top five, his internet top five. He's a very, very valuable part of our show. He so, he, he contributes so you, greatly to our success. So what you're saying is, if 50 goes against Tony Starks, the Chihuahua of the Idol Radio Show, it's not going to be popping. It's not happening. Is that, is that what you're telling no, me? No, no, no. I'm saying I don't want any. I don't want him coming against you. I okay. don't want you going against him. I just want peacefulness to reign throughout the world. I would. I. I. I, I need that to happen the same way that uh, I need uh, the Palestinians and the Israelis to just hug and make up. Well, Jerry, let me tell you something. You know, in the Bible, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Bible, but in the Bible it actually says that let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Okay. And you know you let Chihuahua came to me first. I mean, Okay, I'm, okay, see, good. but that's what I'm saying, 50. When you, when you do things like that, like the word Chihuahua, you use that word. That's the great thing. <laughs> it was funny, though. Wait, wait, wait. No, it was funny, though, right? I mean, come on now. No, Nick, you know that was funny now. It was funny, right? That is Tony Stark, our segment producer, our segment host. <laughs> and he's responsible oh. for a lot uh, on the Idol Radio Show. He is responsible in a large part for the success here. I love this show. I, I love this he, show. He's man. responsible for so much of what you love. There, you know, it's, it's, it's always a new something every single night. It's, it's a new something, a new vibe, something new. You know, it's just like a breath of fresh air from all this other radio garbage. Man, I love your show, man. It's hot, man. It's definitely hot. And I want to I wanna be there for that psychic, man. I mean, I'm, I, I really want to know what 50 future is going to be. Okay, uh, yeah, and I, I'm sure that she'll be able to tell you. Well, 50, as usual, I need to thank you again. Uh, okay, I man. As usual, for the second time, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to call into our radio show. It, it, it has been a blast, uh, yeah. but I would definitely like no war between uh, you and my, my segment host. Well, hey, hey, it's been a blast for me, too, Daryl. And just, just keep your chihuahua on the chain, and he won't get eight by 50, and yeah. everything would be cool. Thank because you. I want to tell you, I know he's listening somewhere, and I'm just treating him on the radio. So I remember 50 got the last laugh. I'm hanging up now. Thank you, 50. That huh? was the fabulous 50 cent. I, I need to break now and, and try to gain control of my show. Chaos has broken out. Pandemonium has taken place. I mean, we've had some great announcements. We've